Good afternoon, everybody. We'll let you all get settled in and get started momentarily. Welcome, everyone. We've had some people wandering into our webinar for today, so we'll let you get settled in. And while you're getting settled in, if you'd like to go ahead and pull up chat, we'd love to know where you're joining us from. Uh, you can let us know where, where in Nevada you're joining us from. Guessing that's the state you're in. Um, but uh, what courses do you teach and anything else you'd like to share? We'd love to learn more about our amazing Code HS educator uh, family. Welcome, everybody. Grab that chat. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. We'll get started shortly. While you're doing that, I will uh, introduce myself quickly. My name is Lori, and I am a PD specialist here at Code HS. You might have seen me at some other workshops before. I've uh, been on the team for over three years now and have done a lot of work in the summer on the free summer workshops, I've worked with teacher trainers, and I felt really lucky to get to, get to know so many of our Code HS educators. So I'm very excited to be back today. We have a full house here with the Code HS team as well. We have a lot of PD specialists with. We have Leanne, we've got Dave, we've got Robin, we've got TJ with us, all hanging out with us today. And feel free to introduce yourselves. We'll get started. Don't want to take too much time because the star of our show is waiting. So go ahead and feel free to... Uh, Add anything you'd like to chat. If you do have questions for us, you can either add those to chat today. Or we do have a Q&A option as well. Um, you can use either of those and the team will be watching for those questions as we go. Um, but I'm going to stop holding us up. Alex, if you'd like to go to the next slide. All right. Welcome again, everybody, to our Nevada Advanced Computer Science 1 course launch overview today. And I feel so very fortunate to be the one who gets to introduce our fabulous Code HS curriculum developer, Alex Nunez. And he's going to be taking us through the Nevada Advanced CS1 course today. So, Alex, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. Thank you so much, Lori. And yeah. Super excited to be here with everyone to talk about the Nevada Advanced Computer Science One course. Uh, we spent a lot of time working on this one, and we think that you are all going to love it. So again, uh, my name is Alex Nunez, and I am a curriculum developer at Code HS. And so let's take a look at today's agenda. So we'll be going over just a quick uh, an overview of the entire course. We'll look at the different modules that are inside of the course. We'll go over any resources that go along with the course. And then towards the end of our webinar here today, we'll open it up for a Q&A. So any questions you have, uh, go ahead. And at the end, we'll have some space to answer them for you. So it's the Nevada Advanced Computer Science. One, as you know, there's a lot of changes in, in Nevada going on right now with the CTE pathway. So we've been working on addressing some of the new standards that, that they have so that teachers can have a uh, code HS course that they can use um, during the next school year. So it is designed as a one year high school course and it's an introductory course. So it's intended for students who may have some or no programming experience. The state of Nevada does recommend that students take APCSP before this course, but it's not a requirement. So students can have absolutely no programming experience and be uh, perfectly fine in this course. All of the material is in JavaScript as far as the programming uh, aspect goes of it. Uh, so we have a very cool uh, module for that and introductory uh, to JavaScript module with using Carol. So we're going to take a look at those here quickly. So there are 11 total modules in the course. And it starts off with what is computing. And in, the, in this module, students sort of dive into the history of, of computers how computers and computing in general impact the world and how it is today. They take a look at what the future holds for computing and then just sort of the, the components of a computer. They look at the software, the hardware, and then any sort of applications that are created using that. So uh, that is in this first module. After that, students jump into programming with Carol. This is sort of the first introduction and the first time people see 
uh, programming and we use the Carol API. It's very easy to grasp, simple syntax. So students who have not programmed before uh, will have a lot of fun, fun and an easy time working with Carol. After that, they move into the JavaScript basics. So we sort of remove Carol and then they start writing actual JavaScript inside of our IDE. So this module just goes over variables, functions, and other programming concepts like if statements uh, briefly uh, because they are sort of the basics and they set the foundation of programming. And then students jump into exploring computer science careers. So this is a CTE course, so we have a lot of uh, a lot of lessons and resources around careers. And in this module, students will get introduced to a lot of the careers that are in the field. They'll take a look at career and technical student organizations and then learn more about work based learning as well. So that's all included in this computer science careers module. And then we switch over to digital citizenship and cyber hygiene. And in this module, students learn topics on just how to be uh, how to be a good uh, user of the internet. So they learn internet etiquette, how to stay safe while browsing the internet, having secure passwords, uh, and just being aware of their digital footprint and, and how some things that they interact with online can have impacts later on in, in their future. So digital citizenship's a very uh, amazing module. And then we go and then we switch over to more programming. So students will then interact with the canvas that we have in our IDE and they start building graphics. So they start creating using JavaScript and some of the basics that they learned in previous modules and they put it together inside of this uh, module, the canvas and the graphics. So they get to create cool uh, pictures and, and images uh, using our graphics library. And then moving forward, they expand on that uh, on some of the basics that they learn in programming to learn more in depth control structure. So this would include while loops, for loops, uh, more on if statements, and then a little bit on break and continue. So they learn these new concepts uh, building off of JavaScript, and then they also apply them to create even more advanced graphics on, on the canvas. We then switch over to uh, another module that has more minimal programming. It's called Networks and the Internet. And in this one, students learn all about the Internet and networks and then security and, and then also how um, uh, the Internet has their personal information and how to keep it more private. And then we have a whole module dedicated to functions. So students learn here how to write reusable code by using functions. They learn how to create functions with parameters, with default parameters and return values. So students also explore the impact of scope in, the, in this module. So they have uh, variables that are in scope and global scope, local scope. Uh, that's all super important when working with functions and programming in general. So in this module is where they get introduced to that. And then we have an arrays module. So a whole module dedicated for arrays and knowing how to work with them. Arrays are a very important and powerful data structure. And so students take the time in this module to learn how to create them and manipulate them and use them in their, in their programs to be more efficient. And then we wrap up the main part of the course with this final project. Uh, in this project, students learn the concept of design thinking and they learn the steps of the design cycle. And they do all of this as they create a final program that is a bit open ended. They do it together as a team. And then they're also encouraged to take into consideration how to make programs more accessible. So they'll get to actually actively think about that and work towards making their programs accessible for, for everyone. Okay, and that's already gives an overview of the whole course. And these are just some of the resources that we have. So we have the CodeHS syllabus. If you go to codehs.com slash syllabus slash 20051, you get an even more detailed breakdown of the entire course of all of the modules. And there's links there as well. Uh, so you can find all of that in the syllabus. And then we also have the course overview page at codehs.com slash course slash 20051 slash overview and here you get an overview and highlight of some of the modules that we just kind of covered you get to see the contact hours the time time frame of the course and a little bit more information um, there and you could also access the syllabus directly from there as well 
and then the course is available now. Uh, yeah, it's launched, it's ready for use. We are also in the process of getting this course approved by the Nevada DOE. And so it's a, it's a bit of a process that, that we're going through, but uh, teachers are, av- are able to use the course, uh, you know, whenever they, they need to. And then once we get that through and we get it approved, we'll let you all know as well. All right, any questions? Don't think I'm seeing any questions yet. Now is a great time if anybody has any questions for Alex. All right, if nobody has any questions, I will mention that you can always reach out to us at any point. Uh, if, If you think of something that comes up after the webinar, you can certainly send us an email. Anybody on the team is happy to help, but you can always reach us at uh, help at codehs.com and our amazing support team will get back to you very fast, probably much faster than any of us sitting in the webinar right now. So um, that's always a great option to uh, get some help with your questions. And remember that this course is available right now. Is that correct, Alex? Did I hear that? Yes, right now. Yes, that's correct. You can start planning uh, for your needs for your classroom right away. So very exciting. I'm very excited about this course. I love seeing these uh, these uh, new courses that we're developing for our states. So it makes planning so much easier for our teachers. I <laughs> do see a question in the Q&A. Here we go. From Susan. What are the chances oh. that the state will be purchasing access? That is a great question. So we so we we've had uh, built already a few courses for Nevada, and they've all been approved. There's some already listed on there. Uh, so uh, yeah, we have a good relationship with Nevada. And they they uh, liked our courses. In terms of the funding, I think that's more. Uh, you know, that's that's a closer conversation to have directly with the with the state. I'm not sure how how they'll be funding teachers to to get access. But as far as the course being approved by the state, yeah, we, we're pretty confident that that will go through. Thank you. Yeah, that's a great question. So I did just drop a link into chat as well. So you can see all of the uh, courses that we have created for Nevada. All of the courses that we have, uh, whether they're the state courses or the um, other Code HS courses are all available, are freely available. So um, if you are using Code HS as a free teacher, you can absolutely access all of these courses and all of the courses that are available. So you are not restricted on any of those student courses. If we don't have any other questions. Uh, we can go ahead and start wrapping up our webinar for today. So we have lots more things coming up, uh, more course launches. So tomorrow we have a Tennessee Introduction to Computer Science uh, course launch webinar um, at 3 p.m. Central. We also, um, next Tuesday on the 16th, have the New York CS Pathway webinar. And on Thursday, May 18th, we have the Code HS Middle School Catalog launch. Um, and that is Thursday, May 18th. So same time, same place. Um, if you're interested in seeing any of those, you'll want to head out to codehs.com slash free PD to sign up for any of these. You'll also want to take a look at codehs.com slash free PD because we do have all of our summer uh, workshops getting listed right now. So you will want to take a look at that. I actually have many, many more to add, but you're going to see those first ones starting in June start to show up there. So I urge you to head out to... Again, codehs.com slash free PD to sign up and register for any any and all, if you like. We want you to come to all of them. Those are all free workshops. And we're going to get started in June with a getting started with CodeHS. And so if you're a little bit new to the platform, that's the workshop that's going to help you get used to the platform, get familiar with what you need to set up, and help you walk away with a section and a course set up and ready to use uh, for your classrooms next year. And uh, you'll see a ton of other workshops um, focused on JavaScript, Python, cybersecurity, web design. We've got a little bit of everything, some physical computing, 
oh, tons of stuff. So if you're a middle school teacher, and even if you're an elementary teacher, we'll be having those workshops as well. So definitely take a look at the site and start signing up today. We'd love to see you at our workshops this summer. And I don't remember what comes next. What's the next slide? That might be it. Okay. That is all, Lori. <laughs> I thought there's got to be something else, right? I just like hang out with all of you. So, <laughs> all right, everybody. So again, we thank you so very, very much for spending your time with us today. Uh, we know you have a lot of choices for how to spend your time. We know you're probably still, it's early May. You're probably still in school. Um, so, and you chose to take your time and spend it with us. And we appreciate you for that. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to the whole Code HS team for being on the back end to support. Thank you, Alex, for another amazing uh, course and for telling us about your new course for Nevada. Um, we are so very happy you could be here with us today. And thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we cannot wait to see you at another Code HS workshop. See you all soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>